back at it. Welcome back, little viewers. Um, we're switching it up today. We're, uh, we're gonna leave the pistol videos alone for a little bit, and we're going to uh, we're gonna step it up to some big boys um, and builds. So for those of you that watched my previous video, I have another build that looks similar to, similar to this, but that wasn't my first build. This happens to be my very first 300 blackout build. Uh, not my first build, but my first 300 blackout build. Um, took me a while to go ahead and do it simply because I, you know, I wanted to make a decision to basically just get another AR-15 looking rifle that has pretty much the same functions as my other AR-15. But when I thought about it, uh, I wanted this one to be a little bit more special. So I put a little bit more time and effort into it. And that's what we're gonna be discussing today. So this is my Aero Precision, my 16 inch Aero Precision uh, uh, 300 Blackout build. Um, the rail is from Aero Precision. The uh, bolt is from Aero Precision. Um, and the barrel is ballistic advantage, but I did get it from Aero Precision. Uh, coming from the tip right here, we got the Seekins Precision, um, uh, what is it called? Advanced Tactical Compensator. Um, I watched a couple of videos and um, because a lot of times when I, if I'm going out and I'm shooting long range or mid range, I'm either in the bench position or the prone position. Anytime I got to the prone position, I found that the dirt was being kicked up because it had uh, not just vents on the top, but some vents on the side. So I went ahead and went with this one. This is a pretty nice uh, compensator. It really does its job. Uh, I haven't had any problems uh, with it. Shoots flat. You barely feel the uh, the recoil. Let me get this. Let me get this thing out the way. It's my Magpul two point sling, two to one or one to two. Uh, where is it? You connect it here to make it a one point sling. Never use it as a one point sling. This is a, a pretty hefty long gun, so a nice two point connection is fine with me. Um, what else do I have on here? Uh, speaking of Magpul, I have the Magpul flip up flight, thick Magpul M bus flip up sights. Pretty common these days. That and BCM, or uh, I forgot the other ones. I um, also have the let me go ahead and show clear. Uh, Magpul magazine, specific to 300 blackout. You'll see that there's a difference with the magazines between the AR-15 magazines and 300 blackout ones. I would recommend those. Uh, what else? I've got the Phase 5 extended bolt release catch, bolt release. Basically, it works like the bad lever. So in my early builds, I was using the bad lever, but then I started to feel a bunch of play because it's just attached by the two screws here to your regular cache that uh, you put in there. This one, it's all one piece. It's the it's the, the bolt catch, the lever, all one piece. What that does, makes reloads a little bit easier. You can also lock it back using, using that. Um, Magpul uh, vertical grip. Uh, what else do I have on here? That's Magpul. That's about it. I do have an ATI Scorpion uh, grip. It's supposed to be a recoil reducing grip. Does it reduce the recoil? A bit. I don't feel it. But you know, if you've shot 300 blackout before, it's it's not that big of a deal as far as recoil. Um, I've got another Olight. Uh, MR2 Pro, I'm sorry, M2R Pro uh, with the tape switch. It's rechargeable. It came with the mount. Got a deal on that. Also it came with a free flashlight if you spend over a certain amount. Got that. Um, 
rest of the stuff is uh, Strike Industries uh, accessories, right? You have your strike switch right here, right? That's your safety. You got your mag release, you got your Strike Industry pins, you got your extended castle nut here that also comes, I don't know if you can see it, but you can put a, it's QD. Um, you got your stock Strike Industries. I forgot the name of this this particular stock, but I, oh, the Viper. But it's slimline. I like it better. My, I started out using the MFT minimalist stocks, and then I went a little bit more minimal with this one, in my opinion. Um, what else? So for the for the scope, I went with the primary arms, one to eight. Uh, with the ACSS reticle, very, very good reticle. Um, I'll try and get a picture of it in here. If not, I'll just pull it off offline. Uh, very easy to go ahead and pick up your target. Um, uh, it's illuminated. Uh, I'll show it to you if I can. Uh, and I put that in the American Defense Recon Quick Detach Mount. Let's see if we can get a picture on the other side here. Uh, so quick detach these come right off um, I haven't taken it off I don't uh, plan to unless it actually goes down and uh, I haven't been out shooting with it in a while so um, what else do I have in here I do have the uh, strike industries they also make a flat spring Hold on. I've got that in here let me see if I can pull it out and show you guys yep H3 buffer and I went with the Strike Industries flash spring that really does make a difference um, I never really noticed it before but uh, after shooting my other ARs it became apparent that this one's a little bit a little bit better okay got that back in now what I didn't show you right here was the trigger if you can see it you probably can't it's a velocity trigger um, they're classic uh, it's a three pound trigger if you know anything about velocity the guy who started the company uh, the guy who started the company uh, used to work for Timmy's trigger he went ahead and went ahead and started his own company and made a more affordable trigger that gave you the same functionality um, and I have that in this 300 the other 300 I do have a Timmy trigger in there I don't notice a difference um, they're both drop-in triggers but it seems like the the Timmy trigger is harder to go ahead and install for some reason um, but that is it this is my 16 inch 300 blackout uh, build. If you like it, comment, subscribe, share, um, let me know. All right guys, thanks for stopping by.